Hey friends, it's Michelle from Echo Del Finds, and this is my first static sale. Yay! What's a static sale, you say? Static sale is where I show you some items, I give them a number and a dollar amount, and you write down in the comments below, it's mine, I would like item X, or number blah blah blah. Uh, and just type in whatever uh, suits your fancy. Uh, I'm shipping out of the great state of Connecticut. So when you do say it's mine, I need you to email me at emancipation300 at gmail.com. I need you to email me your real name, your real physical address, your uh, YouTube name, uh, and then that way I can send you out an invoice. Uh, Shipping is not included in these prices, so be careful of the weight. I'll make sure I'll um, let you know if anything uh, weighs a lot. I do use Pirate Ship to ship my items, so I'm gonna use the most economical but safe way to ship your items. And I use a lot of bubble wrap, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. Uh, so if you're ready, let's go for our first live sale. My assistant tonight is no uh, is no stranger to the channel, it is Jeremiah. So he'll be you'll be hearing him in the background call out numbers and prices. You ready? Let's go All right, our first item is a little amberina who doesn't love a little glow uh, So it's a, a moon and stars uh, amberina little toothpick holder Slash um, anything, holder. anything holder. I mean, it's just it's but it's, it's just a glowy beautiful little piece um, and it is yours. Lots of cadmium in a minute. You can see that orange glow. It's a beautiful little piece. Wow. No chips or cracks. It is? Four dollars number 12. Four dollars number 12. What a great deal, Jeremiah. All right. Yeah. Our next item is a belt buckle. Back in a former life, I used to love belt buckles. I would, uh, I had many, many belt buckles for every sort of occasion. This is the one you want to wear on a train day. Uh, it is copyright 1989. It is the Great American Buckle Company out of Chicago. It is numbered. It's number two, 272. It's limited edition. And it's got a good weight to it. Um, so as far as belt buckles go, it's actually a nice weight. So this beautiful train belt buckle. I'll show you the back. It's basically just that. Uh, and it is, Jeremiah? $8 number Eight dollars, number eight. I see what you did there, Jeremiah. I see what you did. Uh, the next item uh, we have are these uh, great little plastic Cupid dolls. Uh, I don't think they're terribly uh, old, although there's no barcodes on the packaging, so they're not young. Um, and so you get the whole pair of them. They uh, are about four inches high, so they're just cute little guys. Um, so two little Cupid dolls um, by Fibercraft. They are. Oh wait, which one is it? You got it. You got. Nope. Nope. Um, We're having a number malfunction. Aha. Uh, 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 ten dollars, number ten. Ten dollars, number ten. So For the two QBs. Wow. Thank you, Jeremiah. That was an extremely stressful situation. Yeah. You handled it like a pro. Well, maybe. All right. Our next item is another glow item. Uh, these are Hazel Atlas uh, saucers, and I have three of them, which is an odd number, but you want to add a little bang to your um, the bottom of your plants, or you just want them for your uranium glass uh, cabinet. These are these are for you. I mean, if you even have an uranium glass cabinet. Oh, they have uranium so glass cabinets. Mommy's working on hers. I'll put it. I'll put a video up when I get it done. I have a great jadeite and uranium collection that I'm building a cabinet for. So these are, Jeremiah, can you tell me how much? Five dollars number sixty. Five dollars number sixty for the three Hazel Atlas um, saucers. And these saucers have uh, pear, grapes, and cherry pattern on them. Plus they are uranium glass, and which you might have already heard that before. Yes, they are uranium glass. Thank you, Jeremiah. Our next item is uh, a lot of these beautiful spools. They are actually the colors of the rainbow. Yes. If you haven't noticed that before. <laughs> so you've got blue, yellow, kind of a raspberry, uh, black, uh, orange, red, and like a peacock blue. So they are a beautiful uh, set. They would be gorgeous as a decor item. And, and they have silk thread on them. It's so very, very soft. And they are? $10, number seven. $10, number seven. 
Nope. This? I don't think so, unless it was from today. All right, next on the line is this beautiful perfume um, bottle. I found this um, this week and I didn't have any idea what it was. It looks like a doorknob to me. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like I'm in New England, so we have a lot of those glass doorknobs. And it actually, I was like, why did someone put this ornate gold over this doorknob? But then I realized that it is actually a perfume bottle. So it's a beautiful uh, rose, uh, gold toned, um, and I'll actually put the maker's mark in the video because I, I again forgot to look it up, um, but it is actually signed. So this beautiful um, perfume bottle is $12 number 18. $12 number 18. All right, so we've got a little ephemera lot uh, for sale. I love ephemera. I love picking it up and then I'm like, whoa, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> Sell it. Ooh, so this is our ephemera lot for today. Uh, I, as I said, I'm in Connecticut, and so we have the Brantford Electric Railway, a child's ticket. We've got four what looks to be uh, from New York uh, restaurant tickets. One of them has Joseph M. written all over it, and they say, please pay cashier, uh, standard check and menu company, Chicago to New York. So I'm pretty sure... Um, these are restaurant tickets because they're all punched in different places. You mean restaurant tickets for on the train? And this is, yeah, they could be, yeah. Uh, Halia Park. So this is, uh, these are betting tickets on horse races, I do believe. So there's two of those. And then the next piece in, in it is a ration book. Container for United States ration books. And I have, there are four ration books in this lot. And they have. And they are mar marked book one, book two, book three, and book four. Uh, no, they all say war book, war ration book number three. Um, but they're out of Bridgeport, Connecticut. Uh, and one is for Gisela, George, Irma, and Frank. And different last names. Um, but it's interesting. Uh, one of them has their age, 73, male, 170 pounds, 5 foot 4, occupation, not, not employed. And inside these, um, every book has a different sort of amount of tickets. So some of the ration uh, tickets have been used. Uh, and there's whole pages missing in some of them as well. So I imagine it was sugar, probably, likely, that went first. Um, but it's interesting um, reading on the back. It says, rationing is a vital part of your country's war effort. Any attempt to violate the rules is an effort to deny someone his share and will create hardship and help the enemy. That's some great language for uh, war. This book is your government's assurance of your right to buy your fair share of certain goods made scarce by war. Give your whole support to rationing and therefore conserve our vital goods. Be guided by the rule. If you don't need it, don't, don't buy it. Buy. <laughs> so great. Such a great um, uh, piece of ephemera. Nice to add to your collection. So you get four books in the envelope, two train tickets, four restaurant tickets, and a child's ticket to the uh, Brantford Electric Railway. And it is... Nine dollars. Try again. It's okay. Five dollars number five. nine. Five dollars number nine. I was going to say nine dollars number five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our next item are, are these two hand-blown um, glass votive candle, or votive candle holders. They can also, I was looking at them for shot glasses. They're about a pound each. They're pretty heavy. Yep, yeah, that's it. They're pretty heavy, so I'll just give you that warning in shipping. Um, so, but they're beautiful. They have this clear bottom, which is just so lovely. The ponto mark is smooth, um, and I just love the form and just the, the artistry in these. So I picked these up. And Jeremiah, they are? $10 number 14. $10 number 14. And I said $1,000. $1,000. Whoa. Yay. All right. Our next item, let's uh, go to the uh, the islands of Hawaii. I have a nice tiki item. Just um, the tiki said he was actually yellow. Woo, that's upside down. Oh, my. It's been a long day. Okay, this guy is about nine inches long. And 
three and a half inches wide. Um, do the TV shutters actually yell? No, I don't think they yell. <laughs> <laughs> this guy says on his back, it says Karen Maui, 1995. Maui. I don't um, that before. Maui is a beautiful place in Hawaii. Oh. Okay, so there you go. And this tiki statue can be yours for... Ten dollars number twenty. Ten dollars number twenty. Or should I have just said number ten? <laughs> All right, for the Disney collectors, I have um, a Christopher Radko uh, ornament. And I don't know why they're doing Christmas in July. Plus, you skip November. Everybody's doing Christmas in July, and I say, wait, wait, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Yeah. So here is a beautiful uh, in the box Christopher Radko. Thanksgiving uh, ornament, and he is Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. So he's a beautiful glass yes. ornament, and he's got a, 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 corner, a cornucopia and dressed up like a pilgrim. <laughs> he's got a little bit of wear on his nose. You can see that? Just a little bit of paint loss there. But otherwise in great condition. He's got a sugaring on him, and he's very cute. Yep. So a Disney Christopher Radko uh, in the box, and it is... Fifteen dollars number one. Fifteen dollars number one. Oh. Next. Our next item is a yeah, I don't have my is a um, Egyptian uh, uh, alabaster fairy lamp. Um, this is beautiful and it grow, glows. I'll put a picture of it right here. Um, but you just uh, light your um, tea light in there and it glows. It's beautiful. This puppy is a little bit heavy as well. It's around four pounds. So I'll just, I'll just give you that straight up warning if you're thinking about shipping costs. Um, but it's beautiful. Uh, I love the way the light glows through um, this fairy lamp. So it's a two-piece fairy lamp. Um, and it's made in Egypt. Uh, it is not vintage that I'm aware of. Uh, just telling you it's from my own collection, so I'm pretty sure it's not vintage. And it is... $10 number 70. $10 number 70 for the Alabaster Fairy Lamp. Now, all we have... Our last item... Is um, this giant radio. Is this beautiful radio behind me. Um, I had a great uh, auction haul this week, um, and uh, just just lucked out on this so i'm passing the savings along to you if you wanted a bake light clock radio this is your chance this is a royal sorry excuse me regal model c 527 l clock radio um, we plugged it in and um that works um but the the clock functions uh, but the radio does not and my suspicion is that the tubes are either dirty inside or, or they've blown so it may be just a matter of picking up a couple of tubes because it it uh, it, it uh, I don't think it would take much to restore this beauty so again this is a regal yeah, and maybe a even clock a new, radio and it's make light and maybe even a new coat of paint would be nice too. oh you don't want to paint this my love everybody wants this beautiful brown color it's like a vintage color oh but it looks black to me yeah it's nice and brown and it is <laughs> $25 number 81. And $25 number 81 for this gorgeous uh, clock radio. Again, can't, uh, I can't totally, you know, the, the, the condition of its working condition, I don't have total handle on just because I don't know a lot about tubes. Um, but I know your local music store should have a great handle on tubes. And if you uh, took it apart and got the tubes out of it, I'm sure they could they could find you uh, tubes. So that's the end of my static sale. I hope you enjoyed yourselves and uh, enjoyed looking at some goodies that I had today. Um, if anything uh, delights you or say, I must have that, uh, again, just claim the item below. Just look above you for people who may have claimed other items. Uh, and then send me an email at the email below with your name, your address, and your, uh, your YouTube handle so that I know how to bill you. So that's it, everybody. Thanks for coming to my first static sale. Bye. Thank you, Jeremiah, for your help. And we'll see you soon.